that we almost gave up on these pieces. We almost just threw it away. <laughs> like, there comes a point in time when you've thought about throwing it away so many times and then you're like so far in that it's like, well, what do you do? Do you toss it so that you don't have to actually finish everything? Or are you so far invested that you need to finish it and make at least a little bit of profit off of something? No. Everything that could go wrong did. The fact is old furniture has smells. Yes. After cleaning this piece down real good, getting it a good, get all that smoke smell off of it, uh, we realized that the veneer was loose all the way around. So here we go again. Fun stuff. <laughs> sanded down every single surface of these dressers and we totally tossed the drawer bottoms because they were in such rough shape and the backs and in the backs of the dresser so you'll see us replace those later and because of the condition of the drawers we pretty much deconstructed them all and then glued them back together <laughs> really i was trying that so hard <laughs> Oh, shit, it's so hard. Even after all the sanding and cleaning, the just old smells and things from the furniture was still coming out. So we used a odor blocking primer to actually seal it in because if you can't remove it, then you just gotta lock it in. And it actually, it goes on white and it dries clear. And then we put another stain blocking primer on top of that so that you wouldn't have any bleed through. So no more smells, no more bleed through. Well, like four coats of primer. Yeah. After all the prep work was done, we actually got to paint the piece and we opted to just paint the entire dresser and chest all over. And we actually got to try a new paint line or new to us paint line called DWIL, which is D-W-I-L, stands for doing what I love. 
and it was our first time using it, so we were pretty excited to try it out. So to be honest, the first coat of paint kind of left us questioning a little bit. The coverage wasn't quite as, like, as much as what we were expecting. But then the second coat went on really, really well. It covered awesome. And we ended up really only having to do two coats and then just go back and do like a few little minor touch-ups and spots. And then you'll even see me do like a scratch test after the second coat had dried and the durability of this one is really amazing. Very good. So the drawer bottoms in this thing, they were pretty bad as well. So we removed all the drawer bottoms because they just we didn't want to paint them. We didn't want to clean them. So we removed those. We cut new drawer bottoms, new backs for the dresser and the chest, and replaced and fixed all the drawer slides. And then we also, we actually, the hardware on these, we made from old drawer slides so don't ever throw anything away because you might use it yeah and then you can keep everything like we do and have no room for anything else <laughs>
this paint was overall really great to work with. It was our first time using it, so we weren't sure what to expect. We chose the color Glade Green and ended up really, really liking the color. The sheen is also a really like flat matte finish, which we love. Yeah. Um, it's got like a little more texture, like typical chalk paint versus something with like a top coat over it. But this is like so durable. It doesn't need a top coat, which is fantastic and cuts down on a lot of time. Color was awesome. Durability is amazing. Um, brushed on good. It brushed on really good. I haven't tried to roll it or spray it yet, but I have a feeling it'll that go on one. really good. Um, so it's really good. The sheen is awesome. Um, even just their shipping and packaging was yeah. really nice com compared to some others. I feel like I'm always like paranoid for paint to arrive and it be leaking out the bottom, leaking out the bottom all over everything. So Overall, we really liked the paint. We think that you would too. And they've actually given us a discount code that you can use on their website for 10% off. So we will link their products in the description. And then you can just use the code RAD10, R-A-D-10 at checkout and get 10% off and try a new paint if you've never tried it before. If you liked this video and stuck with us, please smash the like button if you wanna see more furniture flips and all the things that we have coming up then please subscribe because we have lots of things planned for june and possibly even starting at the end of may so and if you don't mind leave us a comment below tell us would you have given up on this piece <laughs> seeing everything that we went through what would you have done would you have continued on with it or would you have just thrown it in the trash also, if you can leave us a comment if you've ever had anything like these drawer slides or something else that you've saved and been able to recycle and reuse into something. Yeah. And if you have any questions about Dwell Paint or want to know more about our experience using it, then please leave those in the comments as well. And we'll get back with everyone. And as always, thanks for watching the flipping video. See us next time, because we won't see you. <laughs> like you would think that this was a piece that we picked up mm. off of the curb for free, yeah. but we paid money for it. <laughs> Just a whole lot of elbow grease. Stretching it out, talk. to get 10%. Okay, well now I have to redo that part. It wasn't bad. It just made me go. Well, your laughing was bad. It just made me go. And as always, thanks for watching the flipping video. See you next time. What is that? What, what is that? Yeah? Mm -hmm. You don't ever do that. Me and Tobias do it all the time. <laughs>